Hey guys, Mike from Iron Creek, and this is uh, my updated uh, quick change arm. And I'm just going to show you really quick uh, what this does. This is a, just, just an amazing piece of kit, uh, very versatile. Uh, it's going to cut down on the amount of time you play around with uh, changing accessories on your 2x72 grinder. This is a 2 inch contact wheel with a 5 8 inch axle on it. Just pop it in there. Lines up to your wheel in a matter of seconds, or up to, or lines up with your belt rather in seconds. Lock it down. And you're ready to go. If you want to swap over to, say, a wheel that you have that has a half inch axle instead of a five eighths, pop that in a half inch hole. Same thing. Line up your belt. Just takes a few seconds. If you have more than one of uh, one wheel with this arm uh, on each individual axle, you could take a little sharpie or a marker uh, or a file, put a notch in in the axle where the uh, where the wheel lines up with your belt, makes it even faster. Lock it down. Ready to go back to work. So that's a half inch axle. You get into the bigger wheels that I offer, and I jump up to a 5 8 inch axle with bigger bearings. And that really just gives you a, um, a lot more stability of that wheel when you're turning something that big. And again, pops into the 5 8 inch hole. Lock down. This arm gives you 1,800 pounds of clamping force. So once that goes in there, that's not going anywhere. And there's a 14-incher on the DIY 90. Uh, one accessory that I'm almost ready to release here really soon, I'm very excited about this, is Iron Creek Small Wheel Kit. So instead of having this arm bolted onto a dedicated tool arm, again, pops right into 5 8 inch hole. Gives you adjustability up and down for some unique angles that really you don't you're not able to do with other small wheel kits lock it down like the other we wheels other accessories and she's solid and ready to go so i'm really excited about this uh, i have a little a little a little bit more work to do on this um, might move these arms up a little bit more but right now they're in a pretty good position uh one top and one bottom and that'll give you some really nice routing uh, on that small wheel kit so that's that's something that i'm working on that i'm really close to uh to wrapping up but that would be your small wheel kit you just put it in a drawer or really easy to store uh also with all your wheels instead of having a dedicated arm on all your wheels you just have those axles and a lot easier to to stack those up and get them out of the way when you're not using them so that's the iron creek uh quick change tool arm on the uh, DIY 90 grinder and uh, this is this is headed for Texas here pretty soon going to Jordan and um, I believe I have three of these left on this production run so if you've been eyeing this grinder um, it's just really just a, a beautiful machine uh, well balanced and smooth um, one of the most rigid and accurate tool or uh, tension arms you could get on the market it's just just really a, a pleasure to work on this grinder. So I have three of those ready. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, hit me up on this. And uh, this tool arm um, by itself is $100 plus shipping. And um, I think for the first 10 of these that I sell, I'll, do, I'll, I'll take... I'll take care of the shipping on the first 10 that I sell. So $100 shipped on the first 10 of these arms. And uh, I think you could see the value of, of, um, of, this, of this arm here and uh, the accessories that's going to come to play on that. I'm also looking at adapting the platen itself to this quick change system. And then that way you'd pretty much have one tool arm for just about everything with the second pocket for your uh, work table. So stay tuned on that. If you're interested, let me know. Thanks for stopping by, checking out my messy work table. And uh, as soon as this grinder's together, uh, I'll shoot some more video and share that with you. Thanks, guys. Take care, and thanks for stopping by.